Good Monday afternoon, September 20th, 2021, hike day 47. I'm back on the trail. I'm in North Adams, heading up to Mount Greylock right now. It's about three in the afternoon. I took Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Today will be a Nero. Went up to Maine to a Sky Fest music festival which is uh, a good band, Skyfoot puts it on. Hannah and I went up there for the weekend, had a grand old time, just relaxed and camped and listened to music and just enjoyed each other's company, laughed a whole bunch. My mom gave me a ride back to the trail today we got some lunch in town, in North Adams. It's weird getting back on the trail after a good chunk of time off, where I was able to go back home and go to a festival that I've been there a bunch. So it felt like I was just back in my normal mode again. It's kind of sad leaving family and especially restarting your day in the afternoon because you just kind of want to chill at this point but this is what i'm doing it's not a job but i'm kind of treating it like that you know i took a little vacation just like any time you take a vacation going back to work is not the most favorite day especially on a monday my spirit's getting better like i said it's just kind of uh, but I was at Harry's and I was, I told Hannah, I was like, I can't wait to go hiking again. So there's something about being out here, but it's never fun to say goodbye to people you love, you know, but more miles and I'll see them again. I gotta be near a top. I'm going up what seems like ski trails. It's probably what Mount Greylock used to be, or still is. I don't know. reach the top. Pretty sure I can go up in there. Let's go inside. Elevation 3,491 feet. Good Tuesday morning, September 21st, 2021. Appalachian Trail southbound hike day 48. Spent the night last night tenting out near the Mark Nople shelter. Today, I'm heading to October Mountain, which will make this the longest day I've ever hiked. 25.5 miles 
with only about 3,700 feet of elevation, so it's relatively flat all day. Relatively, there's definitely up and down, but it's about the same elevation as yesterday, but 14 miles longer than yesterday, so. Now I'd originally tell, was telling people and telling myself that I was gonna try to do this in four months. So that would make December 5th as my last day hiking. 120 days roughly. I'm at day 48, a little over a third of the way in days, but I've hiked just over 600 miles which I think put, puts me at about 26 or 27 percent mileage wise. So unless I drastically pick up my pace, which I plan on doing, and if I curtail my zero days, which I also plan on doing because I don't think I'm going to take another three day section off just for fun. Power lines. But yeah, I was trying to do the math, figure out what's going to be a realistic end date. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm back into it. Yesterday was definitely a Monday feeling. Today it's Tuesday. Getting into that work week. I don't know how much filming I've been doing, but it's kind of, it's not the most pretty trail, you know? just kind of walking in the woods I can hear the highway it doesn't feel that remote but it's all right it's better than a day job and kind of also getting myself mentally ready for <laughs> the next couple months because it's a mental game I'm off the long trail now so there's a lot less people out here. Not seeing as many northbounders. And it'll take a while to catch up to southbounders. And if I catch up, that means that we're not at the same pace. So most likely going to be spending a lot more time by myself and have less opportunities because I'm going to be further from home to see my friends and family. So it's going to be a lot on me. But I can do this. I got the camera to talk to. I'm talking to myself in the future and to you. Well, I'm at a water source, a lovely stream. I'll show you a daily task I have to do. I do many times a day. My trusty Sawyer squeeze bottle. Take off the filter. Set it down. Inflate my bag. Try not to slip. And fill my water. really makes you appreciate having a faucet with clean water right at your disposal instead of having to stop get out a piece of gear meander into some waterway like this bend over crouch over sit here for 30 seconds to a minute to fill this up I mean, at least it's free once you pay for the filter. Get all the water I want. But like they say, nothing in this world's free. So I got my water bag, you can see, kind of filled up to here. Get my filter, thread that on. Empty water bottle. 
And now the fun part. <clears throat> Just stand here and squeeze this damn thing. And boy, does this take a while. Bunch of geese in the cornfield. Twenty five point five miles a day. The shelter's over there. You can probably hear voices. I'm setting up over here. I forgot to film. But I'm filming now. Show you how I set my tent up. So I laid it out, got the four edges staked down. Take my center guide pole. Running up through this loop. Get it all the way through, put it in this point. That's good. Take my top pole. Put it there. Take the vestibule. That's one. And that's two. That's my tent. Now everything else comes out of my bag. Food bag. Everything else bag. Clothing bag. Sleeping pad. Guess I left that open. A little luxury item that I'm embarrassed about, but I use it all the time. It helps to pump up my air mattress so I don't have to breathe into it. <laughs> <laughs> 